Like and subscribe. What's something you know, but you really shouldn't? My dad has only one working nut. My mom and sister got into a big fight while drunk and my mom told my sister that she came from her dad's bad nut. In the early 2000s, my mother was incredibly sick. For the first handful of years of my life she was mostly bedridden, although she eventually got better in the mid 2000s. One day when I was like 8 though, I was rummaging through her closet and happened upon an older notebook, a diary of sorts. I cracked it open to find page after page describing the pain she was in due to her illness and how she really just wanted to die because it was so bad. She wrote about how much she loved her kids and how she thought it might be better to pass away to have our dad remarry so we would have rather but a more tarot. It was almost like a suicide note at parts. In the end, I put the book down and tried to forget about it but never did. She is still around to this day though, and for that I am eternally grateful. Let her know that. That there couldn't be a better mother. My grandfather got drunk, and told me his wife, not my biological grandmother, is a freak, and likes it in every hole. Hellers in his 90 years, shellers in her 70 years. Thanks grandpa. Congrats on the happiness. I'll be over here now. My old boss told me about her ex-husband's death. Him and his best friend died in a house fire. His kids were told that he died in his sleep due to the smoke. She told me that is not what happened. They found his body inside the closet of his room. In his last moments he had been trying to claw the dry wall to get out. The me said he did not have enough smoke in his lungs to have died from it. They believe based on the state of his body inside the closet, that the fire got so hot around in the other rooms he cooked alive. They said that his lungs were filled with fluid consistent with the air, being so hot they were burning inside and he drowned. To this day his kids have no idea he died or agonizing death. Edit, thanks for the awards. One common question coming up is why, was he in his closet? The night of the fire he had been drinking and smoking weed. It believed he woke up to a dark room disoriented and panicked. It is common for people in fires to lose track of the layout of their room, so it believed he ended up in his closet thinking it was a way out. I'll be checking the batteries in the smoke detectors tomorrow, thanks very much. My dad wanted my mom to swing with him, but she did not want to. He took her to a swinging party anyway. She walked out. He stayed and swung I guess. Mom told me. I should not know it. Overheard my mom drunkenly ranting to one of her friends about how my middle kid wasn't planned and was kind of a mistake. He's so much like his. I'm father, I can't stand him. I was probably like 7 or 8 at the time and still wish I hadn't heard. So yeah there's that lol. That my uncle didn't die in an accident. He blew his brains out. My mom is a bit of a sitcom idiot who thinks, if the door is closed we can't hear her talking in a normal voice on the other side 5 feet away. Heard her on the phone talking to other relatives about what happened. I just overheard a master access code at my work by accidentally eavesdropping. There are a lot of places I'm not authorized to go, that I could theoretically get into now. Now use that power, to find the hidden good bathroom. Edit, great R I'm pretty sure this is my highest rated comment. Talking about bathrooms lol. That my mom is in a sex filled online relationship with a young Pakistani fellow. She is 82. Edit, thanks to all those warning me about scams. She has very little money anyway and this has been going on for over 10 years now. It seems to be a rare case of legitimate online love or sexting. But still something you wish you never knew. Or inadvertently stumbled upon. She has gonna send the dude a bunch of money. Same happened to my mom. Gave her her first smartphone. And gave her a Facebook account. And so many scammers went after her. She gave away like 10k. Before we caught her. My mother thinks. That I consider her husband to be my father. She doesn't know that my biological father and I have known each other for many years, and I'm much closer to him than to my mother. Sounds like the plot of a Brazilian drama, lol. When my wife gave birth, 
The room seemed unusually warm. Warm enough to where I thought I may vomit or faint, but maybe I was having nerves from pending fatherhood. After, the doctor handling the delivery cussed out the attending nurses beside the nursery, because the room temperature was at 89, when it should have been around the mid-60s. I walked out from the nursery after hearing most of what was being said on the sentence, if the mother or a baby ends up with an infection or worse, they are going to own this. I'm hospital because of your up. I ended up looking at them and said, that's good to know. Since my wife and kids are fine, I won't know the pleasure of owning a hospital, but I don't have to know the pain of medical malpractice. That my old boss was banging the office secretary. They were both married to other people. Asterisk asterisk I think she knew I knew. I wish they stopped giving me CLUES asterisk. When my great grandfather came back from fighting in the Somme in the first world war, he could never eat beetroot again. He said it smelt exactly like the rotting bodies in no man as land. My boyfriend's parents are swingers. I had the unfortunate experience of learning that asterisk my asterisk parents are. Don't ever fix your parents computer. My girlfriend wants to propose. She wants to surprise me if she decides to go through with it. She forgot that I was in a group chat on a discord that I'm almost never active on and mentioned it to her gal pals. My then girlfriend got me a birthday present one year, old photos of me at various stages of life from when I was born to just recently. I looked at it, said thanks honey, and went to unwrap the next present. She looks at me for a second then asks well. Well what? Look at it again. So I looked at the collage again, and that is when I noticed some of the photos have a word each under them. Will the vertical bar. Oi oh, 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 vertical bar me oi oh, oh, vertical bar me. My wife proposed to me, and I totally missed it. For the record when I have been married now for 11 years. My friend who is married, has kids in the same class as my kids, has got another parent pregnant who also has a kid in the same class, who isn't his wife. I guessed my son has Reddit account name. Regrets. So many regrets. That my mom regrets leaving my happily remarried dad. Especially weird because the fallout from the breakup was traumatic. Edit for clarity, since this post blew up, my parents were together for more than 15 years, and generally loved each other very much. I, quite fortunately I might add, grew up in a very loving two-parent household. When my mom decided to leave, my dad was super depressed, and it took him at least 4 years to recover. The breakup was mainly caused by two things. A. My mom had her midlife crisis, where she was 50 going on 24, and wanted to go out all the time. And B. My dad is a boring old soul, who also started to get religious. Something neither of my parents had previously been. People grow apart, but in my experience it's often fixable. The problem is it's never fixable without effort on the part of both parties. That my summer job never pressed charges against my friend, who stole $12,000 from them over the time of a year, because not every closing manager did their audits. That my aunt has a different father than the guy she thinks was her dad. She is in her 60s, and is an elected official in my state. No effing clue. As a kid I've witnessed my raging aunt trying to kill her husband with a glass shard from the door window, while they were arguing. She stabbed him in the chest, but glass ended up hitting the bone and she gave up to the next attempt. They didn't divorce, they solved the issue, and live about 25 years further together, she died this year. I'm the only witness. That my sous chef sells drugs in the kitchen, on the clock. This is oregano. What? 86 the soup. That my grandmother used to sell my mom out when she was a young teen, not age of consent, and when she fell in love with my father, she refused to sleep with the men my grandmother wanted her to forent, so she kicked her out of the house. She was 17 at the time, my sister was born just over a year later and me right after. It had her up for life. I'm thankful my grandmother died before I was ever born. 
who the real father of my former manager's child is. I was the one who caught the pair having an affair at work, and while I didn't report them, it came back to bite them both in a big way. My manager later drunkenly told me her newborn wasn't her husband's child. Looks like you are going to need a raise. CW, sexual assault. My grandpa beat my grandma almost to death several times and most of their 12 kids were conceived through rape. Like grandma would come home from the hospital after just having a baby and sometimes he wouldn't even give her a chance to take her coat off or put the baby down before attacking her. She had to go and get restitched several times. She tried to leave, but her family told her that that's just how marriage is. Grandma got drunk at Easter once, and told me, and a couple of my female cousins all this, but not her own kids. She also said to never trust men, and made sure, when we got married to give us all porn friendly jewelry for, if we ever needed an out. Grandma struggled with a lot of addictions over the years, and, knowing this, I can kinda see why. That human skin sells for $10 inch. Edit, never would have thought that my most upvoted comment would be about dealing skin. One of my friends had bariatric surgery, and when she did the consultation with a plastic surgeon for the skin reduction surgery, he asked what she wanted done with the skin. She replied, I have options. And he told her that she could donate it to that hospital's burn unit if she wanted to. She replied, hey, I won't be using that skin anymore. In the meantime, she was diagnosed with cancer, so they couldn't use it, but neither of us had any idea that this was possible. I know some of the contents of my grandparents' will. I know how much money they gave to each of their children. I know that my mother's and aunt's relationship has been heavily strained because of how the money was divided. Backslash edit, holy butts, I was not expecting this to get big. UHH thanks guys. A friend of Minowa's mother left her father because she found his stash of child porn. The mother told me when I was an adult and has asked me to never tell my friend. I shall take it to my grave. Except for sharing it in here of course. The detective of my local police debt lets evidence rot or disappear in storage when it has anything to do with one unspecified gang. Wit. But when I was a kid, 6 or 7, my dad told me that my twin brother was living in Florida with the in-laws of my great aunt. I was too young to understand what all of this was and was warned to SDFU and never say a word. Nothing about this totally <laughs> ed up situation made sense to my little brain. Only a few people knew because mom was knocked out during delivery. She wasn't aware of two babies. 60 plus years ago. Apparently, twins were suspected, and maternal grandma and her sisters decided mom was not ready for two babies. Dad found out, ran off to Florida to find his son. Parents divorced. Everyone now long dead. Never met the brother. Underneath the airstrip in Kitzingen, in Germany there is a bunker with weapons and equipment. It has been flooded since the end of WW2. The retreating Germans booby-trapped it to the point it was judged unsafe to clear. Unsubstantiated was there are the parts for me 262 down there. You've been visited by the ghost of a very important man. Pay your respects by liking and subscribing, and he'll grant you three weeks of good luck. Three weeks of